Buenos, welcome to channel 48. In this video, I'm going to show you the Ubuntu phone, the Aquarius 4.5 uh, that was running Ubuntu. And now, and I installed Android 7.12 onto it. And that was possible thanks to a great developer by the name of Pablito. So Pablito, muchas gracias amigo, muy bien rom, uh, Android siete unos dos, and here you can see this is the Aquarius E 4.5, and it's running 7.12, and there are some things that you need to know if you want to install Android 7.12 onto this device, it's not uh, like really easy, it's also not that really hard, but you must know what to do. If you don't know what to do, then you're gonna fail. And as well, you must know about the phone. Oh, we are recording now. You must know about the phone, uh, how to put it in certain modes. And uh, as you can see, that all works good. Uh, the camera works. We can make videos in 720p, by the way. And uh, as you can see, that all works good. So that is it's not bad. And it gives me the feeling as if I'm holding uh, the, what was it called again? The Blackberry Set 10. The one that fell from uh, my little stand there on the ground and it immediately cracked and it never booted up again. So this what you're looking at is uh, the ROM that I made from the ROM from uh, Pablito. So the engine is Pablito. I pushed in some great applications that will bring great looks uh, to the phone. As you can see, uh, several applications such as YouTube is already pushed in to the phone. So you will be able to watch YouTube immediately. Uh, I don't have the feeling that this phone is, is, is slow or that it's, you know, not able to do the job. It's, it's really a, a very lovely uh, phone that feels good. You know, I removed the display protection just for the video. So you can see that this is a still brand new phone i bought it one day from a woman she was selling it on marketplace and i was like hey this was the only ubuntu phone and nobody uh, wanted to pay more than 25 euros for it i uh, i gladly bought it for 25 euros and look what we're doing today unfortunately there are, there is no uh, lineage was 15 yet in the creation uh, maybe that resurrection can do something this as well no resurrection rom so there is uh, development kind of wanted for this for this phone so uh, all, all you developers that are watching this video if you feel the need if you can get one they are very very cheap on marketplace nobody in fact wants them because they don't know what to do with uh, with the ubuntu 14 that i got this thing as well with and uh, the updating effect was easy but as well uh not that easy uh, for users on windows and in fact it took hours before the thing uh finished the, the the complete installing and on the linux that will be just a matter of five minutes so yeah uh what can i say is the rom okay yes the rom is good the rom is, is more than good um only thing that you must do is you must downgrade the phone first. You will have to downgrade it first to um, to KitKat. And that you will do with flash tools. So assuming that you know how that all works, you will also need some drivers, a ADB driver, special for this device. And you will also need the recovery driver as well for this device. And then, in fact, you can go ahead and install Twerp. So let me show you how that looks on this phone. You see by 
going into the developers options i can set it to boot automatically into the recovery even though uh, this is uh, 2.8 i advise you not to upgrade the image uh, to a higher build of twerp because uh, in fact you're gonna run into problems and the thing won't boot anymore okay so leave it on 2.8 uh, make sure when you install twerp you go to wipe you do advanced wipe dalvi catch system data okay that's all you need to select don't ins don't uh, wipe the internal storage and then you just wipe the phone and then you go to install and then uh, you will have to put the files on the micro sd card okay here you can pop in a little micro sd card make sure that you copy the uh, the mac phone rom or the lineage os whatever you want to install to the phone about the root yeah I don't uh, figure it out yet and I didn't really check. I think I'm gonna just install it on Su Arm. It's the safest to install. You know, if it won't root the phone, it won't harm the system from booting up. Um, yesterday I flashed uh, Super Su. Uh, I flashed Magis 19. Uh, both, in fact, lead to nothing. And Super Su and uh, uh, the updating of the twerp as well lead to. Uh, the phone not booting anymore you see so yeah i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of good with it uh, like this you know i don't even need root at this point but uh, I, i'm still gonna test and see how to root it uh, probably in some next video i will let you know in a short video how to root this thing or maybe under this video i will put a little you know add on update and let you know how to root this phone on 7.12 um, even though you see it saying mac phone 2020 all the work that you see is only thanks to pablito if pablito was not there you know this would not be able to be created you know i would not be able to make it so let it be well understood pablito muchas gracias one more time my friend you see the number one nine ten you are very very strong uh, and the king of this phone my friend so bless you and we both now in fact uh, will bring this room uh, to the people you just concentrate on updating and uh, maybe you know bring some latest security patches to this to this phone and then you know here on channel 48 we're gonna make cool reviews about these works because yeah to tell you the honest truth um, uh, I'm gonna do another project of installing uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Touch on uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S5. But on this phone, truly, I tell you, look at these beautiful numbers. Uh, I tell you that I, you know, I really want to keep Android 7.12, and I love to see, you know, some more builds coming popping up for this phone. You know, it would make me really happy so that was it so procedure is downgrading to kitkat the rom the official firmware that comes uh, for this phone link will be in the description how you can download it including a package i'm gonna make one zip package just unpack these packages or at least unpack the package and then you're gonna find uh, the rom that is as well a zip file uh, you will have to unpack it and then um, copy the content to a folder on your desktop uh, you have to install the drivers the adb driver and the recovery driver you must install them with administrator rights don't forget about that and uh, the flash tool will also be included um, you will as well have to open that with administrator rights otherwise you know in a trabajo okay so make sure to remember these things and in flash tool uh, just set uh, the option to upgrade uh, upgrade firmware whenever you uh, gonna you know flash the phone i think you already i assume that you already know how to do it but uh, for those uh, wondering you know how to get flash tool to connect to the phone simply turn off the phone okay turn off the phone and uh, um um pop in the usb cable while you already hit start in flash tool and then the driver will automatically start flashing uh, 
everything to the phone. And uh, when you flash the KitKat, yeah, don't turn on the phone yet. Stay in that mode. Uh, go to the scatter file again. Then go for the twerp uh, scatter file, uh, the 2.8. All right, because you just in flash, uh, you just installed KitKat. You cannot do this if 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 um, if the phone is on Android 5. Okay, don't even try it. It will not work. Okay, you will be able to install the twerp, but when you flash the ROM, it will not boot. It will make the screen go all crazy, and it's just gonna be in some boot loop. So don't don't even try it. Okay, to successfully install uh, Android 7.12 onto this device, you must first downgrade it. If you're on Android 5 already, or if you're gonna uh, be on Ubuntu, it doesn't matter. You must first downgrade this uh, this device to KitKat before you can install the you know the twerp and when the twerp is installed well the rest i already showed you and told you so yeah this is what you can get on uh the bq uh, phone i think it's beautiful but yeah of course it's not official and uh there is no development going on in fact so once again guys if you feel the need uh to as well develop a good Android ROM, or Oreo, you know, implement the security patches for this phone. Uh, I would be very grateful. And of course, Refuse will then pass the revenue here on channel 48. And uh, yeah, you will become the king of the BQ 4.5. That's it. If this information was useful, leave this video thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video again.